Hi everyone, I'm here with this week's happiness strategy. This week I had a request to read aloud our weekly featured article. Every week I write an article that I share on Empowered Living on my website and I also share it out to Thrive Global. I send the article and the video out as well as some other resources and articles in my weekly newsletter that goes out every Thursday morning. It's called M's Weekly Inspiration. And if you aren't already signed up to receive those notes, you can sign up by going to the link that I'll share in the comments below of this video. So this week's article is called Three Powerful Ways to Embrace Who You Are Now. How often do you think about who you once were or who you'll one day become? This may sound like a deep question and perhaps one you are far too busy to consider. However, if you spend any time thinking about past conversations, experiences, or people other than yourself, you are not experiencing the fullness of who you are now. If you spend time worrying about what might happen next or how some other person might show up, you are not experiencing the fullness of who you are now. Who we are now is always unfolding. The truth of who we are right now in this moment is different from who we once were or who we will inevitably become. Our evolution occurs on a daily and moment to moment basis. Whether we stay present with ourselves or not doesn't stop our evolution, but it does shape the quality of our journey. When we embrace who we are now in this moment, we get to view ourselves and life before us through a fresh and open perspective. When we stay in the power of who we are right now, we allow ourselves to witness the unfolding of our lives now. As a witness, we get to taste the moments we are in and fully experience the magic and magnificence of life itself. Embracing who we are now doesn't mean we won't still be busy or that we won't experience the full spectrum of human emotion. When we embrace who we are now, we receive a feeling of ease and flow in all of our moments. The ease comes because we aren't taking ourselves out of the now by distracting ourselves with previous versions of who we once were. The flow comes because we are dancing in partnership with the moments we are in, instead of resisting them because we are scared to let go of what's out of our control. When we embrace who we are now, we are saying yes, we are willing and open participants in the dance of life. As willing participants, we get to fully experience the richness of the moments we are in. Our moments become gifts instead of fleeting opportunities we miss. Being with who we are now can be tricky. Our minds easily wander and default to old thought patterns that take us out of the now. But with practice, we can allow ourselves to bask in the pure joy of now more often. Here are the three powerful practice, practices and reminders I use on a moment to moment basis. These practices help me get back on my path when I fall off and to embrace who I am right now. Give them a try and see what unfolds for you. The first practice is focus. As you read these words, or as you witness me here on this video, allow yourself to be here right now in this experience. It's a subtle yet mighty shift to bring your focus to right now. When we steer our focus to make this subtle shift, right here and now has a way of settling into our bones. My dear friend Yasu-sen taught me the word aima, which means now in Japanese. In 2014, I attended a retreat in Bali with Yasu-sen. Every morning, he would lead a group of us through, Qigong, through a Qigong practice. The practice was all about experiencing presence and feeling the fullness of what it's like to be here in the now. Throughout our time together, Yasu-san taught me how to travel the distance from my head to my heart. The distance is short. Sometimes it feels impossible to access, and sometimes you might forget, but it's always worth turning your focus to make the journey. The journey is Aima. The second practice is perception. Our perception is the lens we view ourselves and the world through. When we choose to put our attention and focus 
where we choose to put our attention and focus can cloud our view or it can make our view crystal clear. How we choose to perceive ourselves has a funny way of shaping how we are received by others. How we view life transforms our view of life. Our view shapes our thoughts, feelings, and actions. When our perception is clouded with our past experiences, mistakes, hurts, conversations, etc., it's challenging to be open to what's right in front of us now. When our lens is filled with worries, fears, and what ifs, it's hard to breathe in the beauty that exists in this moment. In order to embrace who we are right now, we have to ease up on replaying our past judgments or worrying about the future. Instead, we can take deep, intentional breaths inward and settle into the, into the idea that right now we are held. Who we are right now is exactly who we are meant to be. All is well, and it's much simpler than we, all, than we make it out to be. Less is more when it comes to sustaining a crystal clear view. The third practice is alignment. Embracing who we are on a moment to moment basis comes when we align with who we are right now. Alignment is about knowing how you want to feel and how you most want to be in the world. Then it's simply a matter of keeping your lens clear so that you can feel how you want to feel and that you can be how you want to be. The trick is really to not overcomplicate that which is perfectly simple and natural. Know how you want to feel and then feel that and know how you most want to be and then be that. Resistance, the past, the future, and fear are the blocks that keep us from embracing right here. Align with right now and then align with right now and then keep aligning with right now. Ima, 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 you've got this. How do you most want to feel right now? And so that's our weekly featured article and I'll leave you with that. That thought about always realigning with who you are right now and knowing that you can continue to realign with who you are and to take in the fullness of who you are right now in this moment. So I wish you all the best in all of your moments and my hope is that you practice seeing what it's like to, if you aren't already, to embrace more of your moments and to continue the practice of Ima, of now, of being in the now. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to connecting again soon. Thank you.